kind of impact on, on the marine landscape does it have when, when people are constantly fishing these species of sharks? Well, this is a very, very good question, Jennifer. You know, our sharks, because of their role in the marine ecosystems, they're very high up on the food chain. They're apex predators, many of them. So they keep the delicate balance of the marine ecosystems in balance. And if we start taking them out, we will see ecosystems beginning to collapse because in nature, everything is interconnected and depends upon each other for its survival. So when you remove one species, it has a repercussion on other species around it and it has a chain effect right down to the bottom of the food chain. So globally, we have a very big problem with sharks. Up to 70 million sharks are being slaughtered annually. Most of them are being caught for their fins, uh, for the shark fin soup industry in the east. And as we run out of other uh, stocks of, uh, uh, of fish, we are finding that shark catches are on the increase. And because of really lack of management, lack of compliance, lack of monitoring, coupled together with ir illegal and, um, and unregulated fishing, many shark uh, uh, species have pretty much been exploited up to 90 percent wow. and in our lifetime we can see the extinction of many species unless something is done. So it's very important that South Africa acts early and uh, really takes protecting these key marine species uh, seriously and we begin that process very early and we are basically offering to do the job of the government. We're saying we'll do your job. Uh, we'll do the legal process, process that's involved um, and pay for everything to get the animals protected and help them basically do their job because we simply cannot wait for them to do their job. It will just be too late. Uh, when we first sent a letter to the previous minister, um, we got a reply. It was wonderful. Uh, the D Deputy Director General invited us to come and talk about what we were proposing. I was very excited about it, uh, together with our legal advisor, Shahin Muller. And um, email back, fantastic, you know, we're available these days. When are you available? No reply. Email again, mm -hmm. no reply. Email a third time, no reply. Eventually to hear that He's changed portfolio. And this is what is another big problem within the department is people are changing their positions in portfolios like their underwear. So nothing is actually getting done. Yeah. Well, the last time you were in here, we spoke about shark nets and drum lines. And since then, I know that um, KwaZulu Natal has been testing electronic cables that will go underwater. Has there been any progress with that? So, um, uh, unfortunately, that particular pro project, Jennifer, has amounted to nothing. That's another one of the research projects that the Sharks Board has done, which has amounted to pretty much nothing. And the status quo remains the same. The shark nets and the drum lines are in place, and they continue to kill our marine life. And this has got to stop. So, going back to that IFP um, uh, motion without notice, uh, which was in support of World Oceans Day, as well as calling for uh, protection of our shark species, and it was calling for improved scientific research and development towards devices that are not harmful to marine life to replace the shark nets and the drum lines. And this was a very, very uh, positive step forward for us. It was read and agreed to in Parliament last week. So we're very excited about that. It's helped us and helped us fuel our, 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 lo our lobbying campaign to continue now into the future and fight this battle That's with great. the right support. Yes, so we, we're very excited and delighted about that. I want to come back to um, shark fishing. We, with all this knowledge, we know that we need sharks in our oceans to support those ecosystems. Why is it legal for people then to take them out of the ocean? You know, <coughs> it's like most things in life. What we do not understand, we fear. And also there's a lot of ignorance around uh, the oceans in general and what the oceans mean to us. And perhaps we'll chat about that a bit later. But um, Sharks are generally perceived by the general public and people in general as these monster man-eaters that 
should be out of the ocean. We should have oceans without sharks. But what people do not recognize is this role that they play and that sharks are in fact very good indicators of the health of our oceans. Mm -hmm. And when there are a lot of sharks in an area, one can assume very safely that that ocean is very healthy. And when there are no sharks, which is the case for many areas, where I've been scuba diving in the last 25 years exploring the oceans, um, I have found that the areas where there are no sharks, there's very little other life going on. Things have been depleted because they've taken out key species that are maintaining this delicate balance in the ecosystems. So it's about also trying to educate public. It's about also demystifying sharks and also trying to educate the media because the media is very responsible for irresponsible media around sharks. And as long as they perpetu perpetuate that fear in the media of what sharks are not really, um, we're going to have this problem where people believe that even our leaders and people in positions who should know better, they don't know better. So they believe that these animals are actually not worth saving. What's the point? They bite people, they kill people, they deserve to die.